What's going on, guys? Geronimo22 back talking about Wade Phillips and the term that he used called cheat, okay? Three cheat. So basically, it was three sky, okay? And we what we did was basically try to turn one side of that three sky into seam rules, okay, or match rules. And then the opposite side, we just played zone, but then we would have a safety cheat opposite to where the passing strength was to help out that linebacker in the zone. Okay, so it was our way of playing hybrid kind of version of three seam out of our cover three sky and it was just one call and the most important thing it was it was only versus these two by two sets okay so spread two by two is when the cheat rules came into effect we would just say cheat 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 across the field and we would just end up working these rules out okay so as you look at this picture just understand that this is base personnel so there's a little bit different personnel grouping here, okay? So this is not normal to what you probably might see in the Madden field, okay? So just look at this top one. We have a corner over, right? Because this is, let's say this is 12 personnel, two tight ends, two receivers, one running back. This is the second tight end right here, okay? And this is the other tight end. So they basically have both tight ends on one side. So the corners came over, all right, cover three. So if we were in our cover three in Madden, all right, so we just called cover three sky and we had man align on, we turned on man align, the corner would come over, right? So how would we represent that in the Madden world? Well, in this case, what I would do, if you feel like this is something that you might get, all right, you would just man this corner up, right? And live with it, man this corner up and live with it, okay? Whatever routes come out of it, you're, you're anticipating deep vertical routes, but just man it up, all right? Everybody else is just gonna play three sky. Now, over here on this side of the field, we know that we have a safety standing over here, right? And we have to make an adjustment for him. So we could just put him on a deep third, okay? And this is where I'll show you on the field, I would use the free safety, okay? And potentially try to help out to this side of the field. Let me get rid of all this John Madden this on the, on the screen. So this is a good adjustment that you can use versus teams that come out in formations like this. But let's be perfectly honest, you're probably not going to get a lot of this, okay? You're going to get more um, 11 personnel, nickel, you know, traditional modern day football scheme, okay? So let's not worry about the corners over so much, but I wanted to let you know you could use that. Let's pretend this is just 11 personnel, okay? And this is an example of um, just two by two spread. So we'll make this, you know, a wide receiver out here, right? Excuse my writing, I'm using my finger on my screen. So that's why it looks a little jacked up. I don't have a, I need to buy myself a pen. And then here, okay, and we got our slot receivers, okay? So receiver, receiver, I just put a W there instead of a Z, all right? And we're working, we're playing ball, we got our tight end and we got one back in the backfield, okay? So if we had nickel on the field, this would be our nickel over here right? He would travel to the third receiver. We'd have a corner here, all right? And then we would have a strong safety ending up being this curl flat player over there. So how do you work this in the Madden world? Well, this would be real simple when we get on the field. There's really, within the Wade playbook, I do have cover three seam in there, all right? And I put it in there for this reason. In case you wanted to play three seam, you could play it naturally and let it play out. But all you have to do is call cover three seam if you want to just do it this way. So you can have like records of when you use this kind of cheat. Cover three seam versus two by two. And then like I've talked about in my previous videos, right? Just take that safety on this one side, the safety that's down, because you're calling cover three seam. You're going to have a, probably a strong safety walk down and just put them into a curl flat. And what that does is changes the corner, the safety, the linebacker on this side, we're all playing spot drop zone, all right? So now you have your split. You have on the left-hand side of the screen, you got your spot drop zone, 
And over here, you have your match rules, okay? They're going to be playing seam on this side of the field, all right? So we got seam on the right. We got curl flat on the left. And then I would consider potentially, you know, using this safety, right, and playing a little bit heavy to this side of the field. That would be one way of doing it, okay? I like to give two ways of doing things in case you're not comfortable with one with the first way. Other way of doing it, man, would just be just play ball with three with three sky, right? Maybe you're just calling a play. You're not even looking at the formation. You got caught out there. They come on in two by two. You're like, oh, man, what am I going to do? Your nickel will be over here. Just all you have to do is audible him to a seam flat. And what does that do? That actually changes his assignment, obviously your nickel's assignment, and your linebacker assignment. Okay, they're all going to play match rules. So that's important, and especially the linebacker assignment's important, because if you see on the screen right here how they have the back working out, well, this guy, he needs to play his match rules, right? Actually, on the screen, it's actually this one here, okay? He is the hook curl defender, but he also is in match mode, so he has to match three if he goes to the flat. It would be more popular, I think, out of this formation if you got, like, a tight end working across the field. And that linebacker that's here in the box would sit there and he would match that guy because these guys are gone potentially on vertical routes, right? So that's that. But I just wanted to show you that. So that, that's in the Wade Phillips scheme. Um, it's one of the plays. It's called three week. And really, it's very specific because you know the formation most of the time. You know what it, what it is. But, you know, we're getting to a point where people are using motion, the guys that I play with, right? And they might come out and... Uh, three by one, and you're in cover three weak, you feel good about it, right? Cover three sky, and then they motion to two by two. I know I do that a lot. And then now you're like, ah, I don't really want to be in cover three sky because I'm, I don't want to get beat on vertical routes down the field. Well, all you have to do is go cheat, cheat, cheat like we would in real life, right? And just take whoever your nickel is on this side, put his butt in seam flat. You know he's going to run with this guy. Okay, and then maybe use the safety and overplay to the left. So let's jump on the Madden field. Let's just take a look at it. I think this is a very quick, easy adjustment. And that's always the thing about playing the Wade Phillips scheme. Everything is really quick and easy adjustments, man. We're not sitting here doing a whole lot, okay? Because people play fast on offense. This actually gets you lined up. And most of the time, you're going to always have a body on a body. That's the most important thing. You don't want people running free through your defense. Let's jump on the field. Let's take a look at it over there. Okay, so we're on the Madden field right now. Like I had said, so Nico is going to be what you're going to be in. If you want to call three seam to it, which is in the Wade Phillips playbook, you can do that. So right now I'm actually, let me just show you. What I did was this, guys. I'm going to just give you a little preview. You know, the guys in the Patreon are going to get a little bit of an advanced level of this. But what I'm everybody though, if you go re-download the Wade Phillips scheme off of the uh or the playbook off of the PS5, I added in Big Nickel. Okay. The reason why I added in Big Nickel was some formation issues that we're gonna get. Um, I just feel like it's just good for Madden. And I think Wade would have made the same adjustments that maybe Jim Swartz would have made, and also some of the adjustments that are just common to some of the issues we get in today's football, right? So if you go jump into Big Nickel, make sure you change your packages here. Use your right stick and put uh, slot cornerback in there. So Big Nickel, again, guys on the Patreon, look for a video coming out later on today, just giving some more advanced tips on how to make this tip even better. But just in general, guys, what we're going to do is come out and let's just go cover three. I'm going to go with cover three seam to start, make it easy for you. If you see somebody come out there and they're playing, they come out in two by two spread, right? They're probably going to go four verticals. You have to be ready for it all the time. We're trying to stop the run, guys, right? We're in our single we're in our single high defense. This is what the world we want to live in most of the time on first and second down. But of course, what are people going to do? Play action you, they're going to start throwing seam routes, right? They're going to throw some streaks down the field in the slot. So we can come out in three seam, anticipate this, right? And we can just play it out if we want. But if we're going to use the Wade Phillips scheme, we're going to take the safety on this side of the field and we're going to put him into a curl flat. All right. So just take his assignment. Put him into a curl flap. Now the right side of the field is going to be playing what? Zone. These three guys, zone. These guys over here on the left are playing seam match, okay? And let me just use one of the D linemen. So let's just take a look at it real quick. It's pretty simple, right? You see that everybody on the left-hand side is playing 
match. And on the right-hand side, you see the tight end working down the field because it's cover three zone. So this is not super high level stuff, but it's just want to show it to you. Now, the next step would be think about using that safety, okay? Which I do a good amount, especially, and I play cover one a good amount, and I like trying to help out with the safety. Um, and I feel like these guys sometimes in cover one and everything that we do in the Wade Phillips scheme of them blitzing, green dogging, uh, all those things, playing, uh, you know, different types of peel coverage, blitz assignments, they can play it better. Just they Sometimes they can play it better than I can. All right, let the computer rock out, right? So if you're a D-line user, this is a good defense for you too. But also just check out back here. So if I want to kind of like disguise this a little bit, right? Maybe I kind of move over, pre-snap, look like I'm playing on this side of the field. And like I had said, guys on the Patreon, I'm going to give you some uh, some ways of doing this where you don't have to manually do it. So I'll talk to you about that later in a different video. But over here, you know, your job is to do what? We put this guy into a uh, curl flat, which is great because now maybe he can get underneath the curl route. He can get underneath the out route, right? But over here, your job is exclusively to do what? Get your butt and make sure you take away this route right here, okay? So as you work down the field, you see how that four verticals looks very similar to that picture that I showed you from the playbook where we have a body on a body down the field on this side, obviously, because we're playing three seam. And then over here, we have a body on a body, okay? So that's great. Now, again, there's some other little things I know that are really hard to stop, like this little seam route right here could be considered open, especially when you're running out of there. So again, there's some extra little things that you can do that um, I'll talk about later. Again, on the guys on the Patreon, I'm gonna talk about some little things you can do to help out with that. But really, just from being a sound standpoint, we got basically Wade Phillips' three cheat system working okay let's test it out let's put the back real quick into the into the flat right we want to make sure we're getting what we want so we have over here we're playing three sky okay and then let's just get this ball snapped we should get the linebacker obviously matching to the left because that's what three sky does so three to the flat right he's gonna match let's do it the same way that we had it in the book over here let's just get a swing over there to the left hand side of screen doesn't matter what we're doing on this side. So this goes back to the video that I put out the other day where, you know, in cover three, when you have corners over, you, you can kind of split the stuff up, you know? One side could be doing one thing, the other side could be doing another. My original video I put out a long time ago talking about how three seam is broken in certain areas. Is it really broken? Look out for that video, I wanna put that out too. I don't know if it's really broken. I think the creators might've done it on purpose, but let me not get off on a tangent, right? Our three seam, our uh, three hook player is going to go get that guy. He's going to he's going to match number three to the flat, and then the hardest one would be what right tight end comes across the field. Is that linebacker going to do it? So this is the reason why you know some defenses the linebackers are pretty darn good, and you don't need to use them. Cover four is a different story, but like look at this right linebacker takes them to the left side of the screen. You see that right? So that's that. So that's one way of doing it now. Let's just say you are, you, you know, so I can give you that. That's one way to do it. Just call cover three seam and just play cheat to it um, with that type of adjustment. Now, let's say you want to play three sky because if you are in the Wade Phillips scheme, he doesn't play a lot of match three, right? That's the only version of it really. So there is no match three. It's just really cover three sky spot drop, all right? So let's just call, let me call a different play here. Cover three sky, we should get four verticals hold on one second here again i'm in big nickel over g for a reason um and that's going to be another video but right now we have just verticals right and we have cover three sky so you guys probably know the answer right well what is the opposite of what i just did i can take the nickel and put him into a scene flat so now the corner the nickel and this linebacker are all playing cover three seam rules all right this linebacker this safety and this corner are all playing spot drop cover three because that's the original call, all right? So let's just take a look at it versus four verticals. Let me get off the linebacker real quick. So now we get our seam rules on the left-hand side, right? Just in case you guys don't believe me, right? Let's just go test it out. If you wanna take, let's put him into his seam flat. 
let's take this outside receiver and put him on a quick five yard out, right? Because, oops, let me get out of this play. Quick five yard out would take the outside corner because if you guys don't know, I made a video about this a while back on the Patreon. I don't think I made it fully public. I'll do it now. When we're playing seam coverage, this corner out here is not playing mod, which is man over depth or man, out, man outside of deep. He actually is playing Meg. So he's Megging number one. So if number one runs a five yard out, which is not outside and deep, but maybe it's all outside breaking routes. Maybe that's what that word means. See, the way I learned mod was anything over 10 yards. But I guess maybe this is actually mod in the version of Saban, which is anything to the outside, okay? So maybe I just kind of fixed it right there. So maybe he's playing the Saban mod, not the Geronimo as he was taught when he was uh, 21 years old mod. But anyway, right now we're going to get that outside corner taking that five yard out. All right, so I might have just made my own own correction right there live. So on the left hand side, you see how the corner is taking that. So we're getting match rules, okay, on the left hand side. All right, so that's one way of doing it. So now you still have the same situation where if you want to use your, your free safety in the middle of the field, okay, and now you can try to take away that vertical route of number two if you think that's what you're going to get by just putting this side. So this side of the field is pretty much. You feel good about vertical routes being taken care of, all right? And on the right-hand side, you know, you know you might get verticals there. But let's put that tight end. I was going to put them on a, on, a, on a drag real quick. I didn't get to it in time. Trying to work through two controllers right now. All right, here we go. We get with the seam. Let's take this tight end and put them. Let's change the play first, and then let's put them underneath. Okay, we want to make sure Mosley, the computer Mosley, he should take this guy. Because the left side of the field is playing what? Seam, right? So he should take the tight end across the field. That's basically the equivalent of his new number three going to the flat. All right. So that's three cheat right there, guys. I hope you guys like that. It's a good little setup. I feel like it's something that you can do to kind of like if you're a single high guy um, and you want to play the Wade Phillips scheme, who's majority single high. And I'll go into that at the very end in a second. But you want to also kind of maybe set some people up meaning that you want to force the ball to go to where you want to go, and then you go use it for a pick. This is a really good idea to do, okay? And just so anybody wants to know, because I definitely want to talk about Wade's scheme in the most you know realistic way, you know, Wade's scheme is a single high scheme really because of the ending result, okay? But he actually taught from day one to show cover four, all right? Just so everybody is on the same page. So, you know I mean? I was the DB coach, so I... To know this right but anyway he used to come out and show cover four right to start and then a lot of times walk the guy down you guys just saw what happened there you like that by the way but anyway that's a little trick of using big nickel over g i'll say i'll save that for one of the patreon videos but he would show cover four okay and walk a guy down late or on the snap rotate down a lot to a lot of this stuff it wouldn't just be line up and single high now Versus certain formations, like his golden rule was versus formations like tight formations. Let me see right here. Like a formation like this, we wouldn't necessarily mess around with disguising, all right? Because if you want to try to disguise this, you might get caught off in your run fit. So let's say we want to show cover four to a tight split set, but yet they run the ball, especially under center, right? They run the ball right up the middle. Or they run it to the left, you know, to the right if we could, if we were under center. Let me see if I get to under center real quick. Instead of talking about it, let's see if we can just show it. Yeah, single back. Let's do this one here, right? So the team lines up under center like this, and you want you're in cover three sky, but yet, you know, you don't have the fits right and you're trying to disguise. I could easily run the ball to the right, and this safety technically would be my force player or my D gap player, but he's standing back there. So as he comes running down. A lot of teams are going to do this and crack with the sit with the outside receiver, and then now your corner is over there making a tackle. It's a lot better from a defensive standpoint to have the safety down here to start, okay? And if you know you might get cracked, you might even line up closer to not get cracked, all right? I've seen some people turn their back to the receiver and tell the ref beforehand, he's going to crack me. If he hits me in the back, you better throw that flag. So, like, this is a better fit for the run, and that's always the first mentality is let's stop this run game, okay? And who cares? So if this guy's down here, 
I used to always tell this safety back here, what's the point of really disguising your job right now? Like you're going to have to run to the middle of the field late and then get in position late. You might as well just line up in the middle of the field. This is the NFL. Most people are going to know, but this safety walked down this far, it's probably single high. You're just trying to disguise and you're making your job harder. So let's just line up. Let's just, everybody knows what's going on and let's just see who's better. Okay. So that's just an idea of playing the single high look versus formations like compression sets, bunches, where it doesn't make sense to disguise, especially if it's first and second down. All right. But in general, Wade's idea was to actually come out and play a lot of um, disguise cover four to start and then walk down into single high safety. So that's a little bonus tip, a little bonus knowledge fact um, of Wade's defense. And just so you guys know, some of you guys I know are in sim leagues where they actually make you declare your coverage cell and, t- and tell if you're going to be single high or you're going to be uh, one high. I don't get that because what if you're a team like Wade Phillips where you start in two high as much as possible, but you like to walk down to one high, you know, you kind of taking away those teams that do that. Right. So um, anyway, I just wanted to put this out there for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, check the description below for my Patreon. I'm about to go make a video right after this right now and talk about why I added big nickel in there and then talk about some other advanced techniques you can do for three cheat to make it even better. All right. I'll talk to y'all later, man. Peace.